Welcome! In this video we'll show you how to rig mixed arrays of subs and tops. The easiest way to get the frame out of the case is to use the chain motor. For applications where the chain motor is directly above the frame, it is recommended to use the hoist connector chain shown here. It will prevent the chain bag from touching the frame. Place the subwoofer on the ground and prepare its front links for connection to the flying frame. Lower the front of the frame onto the sub and secure it to the front links. The splay link needs to be connected next. However, its attachment point to the frame depends on whether it's used with tops or with subs. In this case, it needs to be moved to the rear mounting point, which is the appropriate one for subs. Once the rear hook is in the right place, lower the frame fully onto the sub. Then secure it in place with the two locking pins. To mount tops on the subs, an additional flying frame is required. For this application, the two additional front links which are stored on the frame need to be installed. Be mindful of the proper orientation of the front links. At the rear of the frame, release the pin that holds the cable pick in place. Release the rear link of the sub and attach it to the frame with two pins. Now it's easy to attach the front of the frame. To mount the pre-configured line array boxes, first attach the front links. Then pull them out of the touring cart and insert the safety pins into the lower three boxes. Next, release the splay link of the frame, lift the line array boxes into place and secure them with a safety pin. 